He's the chief precious metal strategist for HSBC, and he joins me now at the LBMA in Vienna. Jim Steele, good to have you on the show. Well, thank you for having me. So I know you spoke earlier this morning. Um, I know it was a very popular discussion, and we're excited to get your sentiment on, on gold. A lot of people had given up on the metal, throwing in the towel on the metal this summer. What's your, uh, what's your current sentiment? Well, we're moderately uh, uh, optimistic. We're, we're cautiously bullish, as I'd put it. Uh, the uh, outflow out of the ETFs, which we saw in 2013 and last year, is beginning to moderate quite a bit. Uh, we still have had, up until at least very recently, a very good demand from India. Uh, Ch China's demand is, is, is moderately good. And when we got down below that $1,100 level, uh, we saw an increase in small bar and uh, coin demand. Uh, but I think, you know, defining the sort of upside is going to be the, uh, the lack of inflation uh, globally and also the fact that uh, Western investment interests, uh, large hedge funds, et cetera, et cetera, by and large are, are not back in on the buy side. Well, compared to other speakers here, you're quite positive on the metal. Are you surprised by how bearish the sentiment is here at the LBMA? Well, no, and I'm not sure if it's uh, universally uh, uh, so bearish. Yeah. Don't forget, we've come off of some uh, uh, very difficult years, and the price is down substantially fr from the peak of 1920. So uh, I think we're, right now the market's in a sort of stabilization uh, period, so it would not be unusual to get a lot of uh, uh, diverse opinion. So that said, is there a trading range you're eyeing for gold heading into 2016? Well, our average for uh, uh, this year is 1160, which takes us to a year end of around 1205. Uh, next year, our average is 1205, uh, with a year end of around 1255. So, you know, m a few uh, dollars up from here, but nothing, uh, 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 nothing, nothing too vigorous. Let's look at the pre other precious metals, especially platinum. We saw it's had uh, recent issues. Uh, do you see platinum picking up in 2016? I think yes. I think that uh, it, it's essentially its uh, demand uh, in auto vehicles is intact. Uh, we have tighter supply uh, going forward. So yes, we're, we're, we're moderately positive on the on the platinum as well. How about thoughts on silver? It's had quite a good run so far. Yes, it has, and uh, I am encouraged when it dips below fifteen dollars again. We see that small coin demand and small bar demand come in, uh, and we do have some moderation in. Uh, uh, mine supply, uh, but we do have a lot around, a lot mm -hmm. above ground stocks, yeah. and industrial demand is only moderate, so the upside is maybe limited also. Finally, what do you feel the sentiment has been like here at the LBMA? Is there one thing that's really stood out for you? I don't think so. I think, again, the market's in a period of consolidation, and uh, uh, we've come off of a very significant bull market, which lasted for many years, which turned around in 2012, 2013. And now everybody's trying to figure out where the next level is going to be. Well, Jim, thanks for stopping by. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching our coverage here from the LBMA in Vienna. We'll have more for you, so stay tuned to Kitco.com. Thanks for watching.